For this video, I'm in the St. Louis suburb of Troy, Illinois, which isn't to be confused with the other similar sized city of Troy, Missouri, which is an hour west of here. Currently, I'm on the western side of Troy, where there's a couple of truck stops, as the city is located near the junction of I-70, I-55, and I-270. Really quick, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you see here can be found in my Metro East playlist, my St. Louis Suburbs playlist, or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. Just around this curve is downtown Troy, and you'll see that there's really not much to it. There's some more small downtown-like buildings that you'll see off of Main Street, but that's about it, and we won't get into Main Street until later. Troy was platted as a town in 1819 with the original name of Columbia. That's not to confuse you with today's city of Columbia, Illinois, which is about a 30-minute drive south of here. The city's website claims that in the early 19th century that Troy was the first stagecoach stop for travelers heading east from St. Louis as the city is 18 miles west of here. Troy incorporated as a town in 1857 and as a city in 1892. As you saw in the beginning parts of this video, Troy has transitioned from being a stagecoach stop town to being a truck stop town, and as we've been driving through, you can see that today it's a pretty boring town. How dare you say that there's not much to do in this place? We have many fast food places to choose from and- Yeah, exactly. Look, sometimes boring can be good. Sometimes that means that your town is a safe and affordable place to live. Other times it means that you have to drive for 20 minutes until you can find amenities that can help solve your boredom whether it's entertainment options or recreational opportunities. Let's not act like that isn't a real thing. Anyway, Troy is another Illinois city that has seen continuous population growth over the years. This is mainly due to it being a suburb of St. Louis, as suburban expansion continues to be a thing to this day. Suburbs like Troy that are far out offer opportunities for real estate developers to build newer housing as there's plenty of land available to do so, and newer housing is always going to be attractive for home buyers. Troy in particular is an attractive place to build newer housing, as it's close to several major freeways that serve the St. Louis metro area, and that allows faster travel to further away places. We'll get more into the city and county stats later. I'm no longer within the city limits of Troy, and the reason for me being out here in no man's land is because the high school is all the way out here, which we will be seeing pretty soon. And straight ahead is Triad High School. Not Troy High School, but Triad High School. It's a part of the school district that's called Triad Community Unit Number 2. Interesting. That sounds like a location of a prison cell. The athletic teams go by the Knights. And now as you can imagine, we're now heading back into the city. Earlier I was mentioning how Troy has seen continuous population growth over the years. It's been slight population growth, but it's growth nonetheless, especially for Illinois, and the Metro East region of Illinois at that. Troy is in Madison County, which is the largest county by population in Metro East. Madison County, however, has seen an estimated population decline of 3% since 2010. Metro East as a whole is estimated to have lost 4,000 people within the five-county region since 2010. Anyway, Troy is estimated to be home to over 10,000 residents today, and the median household income is $70,000 per year. 33% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $178,000. The poverty rate is 7%, which is pretty good when you consider the region that it's in. The public schools are rated as an A-, and the crime rates are below average. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. And this is Main Street, the main north and south street through the original town, and you can see that there are a few downtownish type buildings off of this stretch, but not very much. 
very similar to the main east and west thoroughfare through the original town that we drove through earlier. Even though Troy is a growing suburb of St. Louis, the agricultural scene here is still strong as if you head in any direction from here except west, you'll run into farmland. There are several farmers markets in Troy and other agricultural types of shops. And from what I could find, Reddit users that live in the area say that Troy is fine, but it's too far away from everything else and that it's pretty dull, which kind of goes along with what I was saying earlier. Once again, boring isn't always a bad thing. When a place is boring, that usually means that it's safe and housing is affordable, which both are true for Troy. If you don't mind driving extra to get anywhere, then living here wouldn't be so bad, I guess. But one thing that I noticed while driving around that would be a deal breaker for me is that there aren't any grocery stores. Not even one on the main drag that I drove on between the I-55 exit and the original town. You'd think that a town with an above average median household income that is home to over 10,000 residents would have a Schnucks or any other regional grocery store chain that they have here in Metro East. Dare I say Walmart. That is unless you're fine with having a Dollar General, Dollar Tree, or truck stops as your only options. I'm sure someone is going to head on down to the comments section below and try to scream at me and say something like, Joe Schmo's Market is a great grocery store and you drove right past it. But here's a screenshot of my search on Google Maps for a grocery store in Troy, Illinois, and this is what it came up with. You have two dollar stores and a Casey's, which if you're not from the area is a gas station. So we all know that that isn't a true grocery store. Anyway, there's a shopping area in Edwardsville that's about a 12 minute drive away, so at least you have that. Uh, earlier you passed by the Mersinger cabin and didn't say anything. You really need to have a local in the car with you providing your commentary. Oh yeah, I did pass by that, didn't I? Oh yeah, how oh, cool, neat. Yeah, cool, I guess, if you've never seen a cabin before. <laughs> Okay, okay, the Mersinger cabin that stands today is a rebuilt replica of the original cabin that dates back to the 1850s. It's along the National Road and you can visit the cabin to time travel back into the 19th century if you want to get a glimpse of what life was like back then. This is Tri Township Park, which seems like a decent gathering spot in a nice local park. I counted about 10 baseball and softball diamonds, 4 tennis courts, and a basketball court.
In this video, you saw the outlying St. Louis suburb of Troy, Illinois, which seems like a nice, safe, and affordable place to live, yet you also saw how there's nowhere to shop here or go out to eat. You have to drive at least 12 minutes away to nearby Edwardsville, which isn't too bad, but it'd be nice if there were some amenities in town other than fast food and truck stops. You also saw how there was some history to Troy, which was a tiny town to start out with, but grew slowly over time as it became a suburb of St. Louis due to ongoing suburban expansion. I do end the video here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you saw here can be found in my Metro East playlist, my St. Louis Suburbs playlist, or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!